What's up fish lovers, welcome to Zach's Tanks, crazy aquarium guy. Today is gonna be a short video, but it's a great tip, so I hope, I ho hopefully I can help a lot of people with this short video. And it is, it's in the title already, so let's get to the video, so we keep it short. So this is how you do it. Don't tear up your scape, be patient. Take a big net leave it at an angle just wait for them to be safe put some food in there and if the net has been in for, a, for an hour they will go into the net they are not afraid of the net as people think they are afraid of you so if you have the net like this, do you see how close I have it? in an angle put some food in the back there Otherwise, it would be impossible to take out these fish. The dragon puffer is going to move to a different aquarium. And I'm going to start breeding guppies in this one. More on that in another video. This was just a quick tip. How to, how to catch those really fast algae eaters in... Escape like this. I mean, this cape is perfect for them. I would never catch them without tearing everything apart. So, a big, big net against the glass like this. Now I'm talking and doing gestures with my hands, and still they are close to the net. If I'm completely still, they would go into the net. And when they go into the net, I come from this angle and they will go in even further into the net and then I just push it take the handle and push it a couple of centimeters and then I'm right in front of the I'm right right up the glass and they can't go anywhere it literally took one minute after I made the other part of the video so I had to show you <laughs> I did this once getting an African cichlid out that took one and a half hour and he tried to go in on the other side tried to eat it through the net so he was a lot smarter than this guy but this always works so it's a great tip to catch your fish when you don't want to catch everybody or tear your tank down but you still wanna take all the fish out and get some new fish in so hope you like that how to catch a fish so the second one was even easier. I just left the same food and then I went to took a shower actually. When I got got back, he was in the net so far with the back against me. So I just walked up to the tank and now I can lift out the net. <laughs> so this is a really good way, promise. I promise. Um, you should really try this. It works every time, and you don't have to tear apart your scape at all. And this is a nice looking scape, and Anubias, every time you move Anubias, and especially Nana Petite, it takes a little while for them to get back, so you definitely, definitely don't want to move them, because they take so long to grow up and be this beautiful. So, this tank is gonna be amazing with guppies instead. Thanks for watching, fish lovers, and tell me if you like these short videos, if I should do them every once in a while. Instead of doing the long swim tails, maybe I do fish work stuff, and every once in a while I do a small tip video that is short and just about that. So, maybe. Tell me what you. Tell me what you think in the comment section. Okay.